it's so small. Hi guys, so I'm back. Sorry it's been such a while, but I'm hopefully gonna be getting into a normal schedule, which is what I always say. But today, we're gonna to be looking at a strange product, and this is something that's been kind of all over the internet. Not necessarily just this brand, but this kind of idea of the natural teeth whitening with charcoal, activated charcoal powder. And you've probably seen the pictures on Instagram, people with the black teeth, and it's meant to actually whiten your teeth, which is what this essentially is. So I got sent this by a company called Carbon Coco. So this is what it looks like on the front, and it's just a little tub of the product, which is a powder, which I'll show you in a second. You also get a toothbrush, and the bristles are already black. This is what it looks like, and it's rather soft. Oh, by the way, guys, I know they're looking a little bit messed up because I've been doing trying to do my sister's nails, like practicing on her, but this is the first set of acrylics I've ever done. Um, so yeah, if they look a little bit weird, that's why, but yeah, um, I'm trying to get into doing acrylics myself because it's expensive and it's also quite fun to do. So anyway, this is the brush you get, and I say it's very soft and it's already black. I guess it's kind of good so you don't get your toothbrush all messed up. And you get this little sheet of instructions. There's also some other like info. I had this in my bathroom for a little bit because I just stored it there till I was ready to make this video. And it's got some of my coconut oil on it, which I clean my face and take my makeup off with. But that is the details, and there are some beautiful images. So yeah, you probably recognize this kind of thing from Instagram. And this is the instructions. You can obviously pause it, but I'm just gonna go through it quickly. Dip the toothbrush into the jar, brush your teeth for three minutes, spit out and rinse. And then you can use the, the activated charcoal toothpaste for three minutes, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use my regular toothpaste. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm hoping you can kind of see that there's powder in there. If I just give it a little bit of a move about, you can see there's definitely powder coming off. Now, it doesn't say in the instructions to wet your brush first, but I am going to wet it just so that this doesn't like fall all over the place. So I'm actually just going to do a screenshot or like a still clip of what my teeth look like before because we're going to do this over the course of like a couple of weeks. See, my teeth are not like really yellow or dirty or anything, but there is a bit of yellowness to them. I haven't used the Crest White Strips in quite a few years, and they did keep my teeth white for a really long time, but they are starting to get more colour to them. Also, if it looks like there's something in between my front teeth, it's because I'm starting to develop a little gap, which I don't really like. It looks like a peppercorn or something, but bear with that. I might get something done to that dentally, but it doesn't bother me too much. So I'm going to begin by dipping my brush into my cute little flamingo glass. I'm then going to dip into my charcoal and get a nice amount on that. I have a feeling this is going to be really messy, so I'm going to put a wet wipe underneath to catch any of this, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to set my timer for three minutes and brush my teeth. Oh my god. So I've spat it out now and it's super messy, like my desk area is splashed with black. So I recommend not opening your mouth at all when you do this if you can help it and do it in the bathroom. It also feels real gritty. Like a bit gritty, like you can feel it. Like making strange, like cracking noises when you bite down, which is kind of strange and unpleasant. And it has no taste whatsoever, which is kind of bizarre. I'm gonna go brush my teeth with a regular toothbrush now. Sorry it's so dark in here, but I'm just gonna brush my teeth now with my Oral B. And I love this one because it's really whitening, it's a 3D white. I don't know if you can see this, but this black is splashed all over me. Like, ew. Okay, so I'm back, I've brushed my teeth, and I have a verdict. So, I do think they possibly look cleaner, and maybe a little bit whiter, um, but remember I've only done it once, and I'm gonna do it for like two weeks. Um, but also, that I feel like that could be down to the fact that I've just brushed my teeth for six minutes, whereas usually I would brush them for two minutes. Uh, six minutes seems excessive, but I guess that's how this product works. Um, also, my gums and like around 
the edges of my teeth, I guess like the, the areas where my teeth are in the, I don't know, my, the areas where my teeth connect to my gums uh, kind of are sore and hurt, they're quite irritated and um, that's probably because the charcoal is quite rough and scratchy so maybe that's like worn at them and made them quite sore. Uh, maybe I need to be a little bit more gentle next time, which I will try and be and try and avoid like my gum area as much as possible, so just be careful with that. Uh, they do feel, they feel really clean, which is good. Sorry about Enzo. I'll put the information about where you can buy this in the description and like how much it costs and everything like here. I think if this works, it could be really, really awesome because I would assume it's going to be less damaging than if you buy like Crest White Strips or you get your teeth like professionally bleached. But then it's also a bit scratchy, so I don't know how well that would work with like the enamel on your teeth. Um, so obviously I'm going to put this to the test and stay tuned if you want to see how this product works. Hi guys, it's a couple of days later. I'm just going to make this update to say that I'm not going to continue using the charcoal stuff because I used it that first day and then my gums were really sore and it was painful to like eat and drink and stuff. And I realised, like, I suppose, like, not everyone would probably have this issue, but um, because I have a tongue bar, um, so I've actually, when I first got it done, they put in a really long bar, and um, you can easily bite it, and it can, like, crack the back of your teeth and stuff. So there's some areas in the back of my teeth where, like, some of the enamel, like, I guess, like, cracked off, and after using the charcoal stuff because it's really rough and gritty it actually like I felt like it's it wore away those areas and they felt really like jagged and rough um, and just worn and I also grind my teeth due to like anxiety issues and stuff and I've done that my whole life and so I have a lot of like especially on my I front two teeth the back is actually really worn up like there's like a step so the front is actually a lot like longer than the back and I just feel like this is really not good for people's teeth, especially people that already have like sensitive teeth with enamel that's already like coming off or like problems and stuff like that. Um, so I did a bit of research online and apparently dentists are saying keep away from this like charcoal toothpaste trend because it's actually not good for your teeth at all. It's real damaging and can wear away your teeth and obviously you only get one set of teeth. It's not like with your nails you can cut them and your hair you can cut them. Cut, you can cut your hair and um, it will grow back. No, your teeth, you only have one set of teeth and once they're worn away, you're screwed. So, you know, you want to look after them the best you can and even if you want like whiter teeth or whatever, there's different ways to get whiter teeth basically than to use something that's just going to completely wear away your teeth and you, you know, I'd, I basically, I don't recommend this, okay? It hurt my teeth, it hurt my mouth, hurt my gums and um, it's wearing my teeth away and I only used it once. So I do, yeah, my verdict on this is stay, straight, yeah, stay far away. Yes, I was sent this, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna rave about it and be like, oh, I love this, even if I don't. I was contemplating not putting this video up at all, but I figured I'd made the first half of this video and um, that was, I guess, like my first reactions. I may as well include that and post it regardless, uh, just so you can actually see this warning at the end of the video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.